Hello everyone, and today I want to show you a neat little website I uh, just kind of came across called Knowledge Hook. So this website is built, you can see right here for math teachers. Um, basically it focuses on grades uh, 3 uh, through 12, but obviously you could kind of manipulate uh, to change things a little bit. But it's kind of a neat little program that teachers can use to give little math quizzes and kind of do little game shows uh, and to track student learning. So it's free to sign up as a teacher. Uh, here's what you see when you get the teacher side of the dashboard. So I come into it, I can see there's a couple different things like where I can create classes. Right now I don't see, uh, I'm using the free version here obviously. Um, there's no like limit to the amount of classes it seems I can put in here. Uh, but if I create a class, I can say add class. You can see I can do a free one which gives me game shows and missions, which I think is what most teachers uh, we'd be would be concerned about. If I was, I was looking for something more, uh, like the premium, uh, what that one does is kind of gives me more historical data uh, compression. Um, but I think the free class will do mostly what most teachers need. I can come into it, ask me what grades it's going to be. So if I say something like it is grade, um, let's say eight, I can put that guy in there. I'll say a class name. And let's say this is a first hour. And we'll say 18, 19, so I know what year it is. I can pick the term so I can see what I want this to come across. We'll say a full year, and I'll hit add class. When this comes in, it gives me a student screen. Um, what this spot does is allows me to kind of put something up on the screen so students see how to join. So if I hit like add student, I see this little thing comes on. So what it looks like for a student to register for the class if we open up a little incognito window here, a student would go to that website, khmath.com slash join. It brings up a little screen saying enter in the class code. A student types it in. Three, eight. Oops, helps if I type it in there correctly. I can type that in and let's hit enter. The student would create an account. I can type a name in there. Uh, let's say I am George. All right, and we'll say W. It has you type a password in. And the student gets to pick an avatar for themselves. Will be this little mellow looking bird. And I'll hit join. And the student then comes in. What the student will see when they come in here is a couple of different things. They can see their home. So if you've assigned them missions, I can see a profile. The student can kind of see how well they're doing. It gives the students a progress chart. If you do a game show activity and a little portfolio of what they've completed. So let me move this guy over here for a minute. And we'll say, I'll let them know. That's obviously the code you could write up on a board somewhere and do different stuff. Now, there's different things that come in here. You can do a game show or a mission. So a mission be like a little task you assign them. Now, I have a different student here I've been working with. So you can see a mission, uh, what it kind of looks like as a student's going through. So we can see Ben here. He's assigned one of the classes, and you can see he has a mission assigned to him. So if I click this, the student sees the mission. He completed mission one challenge but now he has mission two challenge he can click it and basically the way it comes through is the student gets a question and then they have to select the answers over here sometimes it is uh, in-depth where they have to select multiple answers sometimes it's just one most of the time for the questions they come across uh, the student may have access to different things and this one looks like they only have access to the calculator now if a student comes through and pick something, let's say he, he wants to draw 32 pictures at all, he draws eight in each sheet. That looks like kind of the right thing. Oh, and you can see it tells me I am wrong. So let's try something different. Say this guy. Once it comes up, I can hit continue or I can retry. What retry does is it allows you to try again to get it. Uh, if you want to try, the student wants to earn all three stars, they have to get all three right in a row. Um, so it kind of comes across uh, in that kind of neat way. Now, on the teacher side, what you see here, as Ben has started that one, that was my class one demo. 
I can see Ben here and see how well he's doing. It actually tracks his progress as he's going through. So I can come into Ben, I can check his report, and I can see what he is up to. So I can see his report on each of these different things. So I can kind of monitor a student live as he goes. Now, because this is the free one, uh, I believe the way it works is I won't be able to see historically on past ones, but I, I can at least track each one as it kind of goes along. So it's kind of a neat little thing just to see how well they are doing. There is a parent part to it, so you can actually send reports to parents if you wanted to. Uh, otherwise, if you're just kind of doing this only in class, it works just fine. Now, the other thing that is in here is game shows. What a game show does is think of a Kahoot. Um, this is kind of very similar to it, just very math orientated. Um, if I come in here and let's say, I, like you see, I can pick different grade levels in here. So let's say I do like an Algebra 1 game show. It comes up with my different standards as it comes across. I can find which one I'm looking for. Maybe statistics and probability. I can find the sub part that come along with it. So if I hit play, you can see it gives me an example of what the questions will be. If I hit play, I can uh, invite students. When I invite students, what I'll see is on uh, my student side, the game show will be waiting for them. Note, you can do a couple different things. You can capture student thinking. So if they're using like a cell phone, you could have them take pictures of their paper that they're working on for their ideas. Um, you could even do it on a Chromebook. Uh, it may just kind of look backwards. But you can say no if you don't want to use that. You can also do the leaderboard as competitive or collaborative. So collaborative is everyone's kind of working together to get past the question. And that's what comes along with the celebration threshold. So here, at least 50% of the students have to get it right for us to go on to the next question. So they work together to try to get it. Now you can do competitive, um, but in that case, it's the first person to answer the questions. So you're kind of getting them to rush. Collaborative, you're having them take their time as they go along. Now there are different advanced settings that you can come in here and kind of play with uh, if you need to. Now I'm gonna hit invite. And here you see it gives instructions, just kind of like what you'd see with some of the other kind of game things out there, like a hoot or quizzes. Um, but if you want to see what it looks like for a student, let me find Ben here. All right. If he comes to the game, khsmath.com slash join. And... I could say, there we go, it looks like he's already signed in. There's Ben. He can come down to game show and he'll see that there is a game show waiting for him to play. And on the teacher side, I'll see that my student has joined. So as a teacher, you can do these kind of cool little game shows as maybe um, kind of like a uh, bell assignment or a little task, um, different kind of spots that come into it. So knowledgehook.com, uh, really kind of easy, cool uh, website for teachers, uh, math teachers to use, um, either to kind of do fun game shows or just have little t bell assignments. So as students come in, you can have them complete a mission uh, that kind of goes along with it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this is something useful for you.